Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. So many of you have requested this. You saw that I love the new launch of the La Mer Foundation. I'll link that video below. But today we are testing out the newly reformulated La Mer the powder and La Mer the concealer. They are both very different even in the packaging. The old concealer, which I already have reviewed on my channel, was in a little pot. This one is in a twist up stick, kind of looks like a lipstick tube. And then the jar of the new the powder Powder is much smaller than the older one, but I'm really curious to see if there is any measurable difference because I already absolutely love the old formula and I don't know if I'm gonna be even more impressed by these. It's gonna be really tough because I'm kind of into what they had going on already and sometimes I don't wanna change and I was really disappointed that they went and discontinued an already fabulous product. But people are raving about these two new launches and you guys wanted to see what the whole buzz was about so we're about to do that. I'm gonna scoot you guys in a little bit closer and we will get to applying this product. Opening this particular plastic up, I don't know why, is so difficult. It's like a thick plastic wrapping on this La Mer fancy product. We're gonna start out with the concealer. Now you get 4.2 grams in here. This is the shade medium. They have four shades. They don't have a huge range of color selection. That is definitely a drawback. But we're gonna go and try out this shade here. The light and very light seemed too light for me. I have tried both of those in the actual old formula that comes in the pan and I prefer the medium shade. So my plan is to apply this underneath the eye, dab it out with my finger. If I need to use my beauty blender, I have this on hand ready to go, already pre-dampened. And we're just gonna see how this works out. I'm really curious because this is a treatment concealer. It does contain the Miracle Broth, which I love. I'm just gonna get straight to applying this and we're gonna see what the texture is like. It is said to melt in the skin, be really lightweight, long wearing. Let's hope that's the case because I am actually doing a huge photo shoot today, something really important, and I need my makeup to look good. Really like odd side note, I always do my own makeup for photo shoots or really any event or anything. I always like doing my own makeup, even when they provide makeup artists. The initial application is not super thick. Oh my God, it's making me crazy. I can like see a hair on my nose and I cannot get it. What? Peanuts. It kind of feels like eye cream. Like it has this weird kind of almost cooling feeling. I don't know if that's my imagination, but it feels really nice. Really creamy, but not wet or not thick. I love the original, so I'm expecting that I will like this one as well. Look at how that covers, but it does not look overly makeup-y. I love that about this concealer. It is not the kind of wet concealer that you can really put on and do like a lot of highlighting with. I'm just getting really curious now. I'm going straight in out of the tube to see like how heavy it is. This is really weird. It's almost gel-like and it doesn't, doesn't feel heavy no matter what I'm doing. I think it looks really nice, really natural. It is definitely helping my dark circle situation out. I'm not feeling 100% today either. So I was doing my makeup and I'm like, okay, testing out a concealer is gonna be really, really good because I feel like my dark circles were like a little bit extra today because I'm just kind of feeling like I might be getting what everybody else around me has gotten as far as like everyone being super sick. So this is making my life a lot easier right now. I feel like my dark circles are completely gone. Um, just for kicks, let's see what happens if I try to cover up this craziness right here. Eh, I don't think anything's gonna cover that up, to be honest. So now that I have the concealer on, I wanna give a quick comparison. This is not as thick or as pigmented as the old concealer, which the old concealer I really, really, really loved. Um, but this one I'm enjoying for different reasons straight out the gate. It looks really natural. It feels really lightweight. It is covering things up, but it's not looking heavy and it's not feeling like it's going to crease right away or be an issue in that area. All right, I'm going to open up the powder. This is what the new jar looks like. The old jar was giant and it didn't just look giant. You actually got a lot of product. So this one, you're not getting as much product. It's $95. So... Still crazy expensive. 
uh, and you get not near as much as in the old jar, which kind of made me go, eh, I don't know that I like that, but this new powder is said to be infused with the Miracle Broth, whereas the old one wasn't. This is translucent and it's going to basically work for anyone. I feel like the translucent powder from La Mer has just a little bit of a peach tone to it. It's not completely invisible, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna take just a little bit of powder first and just kind of go like this before I go in and bake at all. It's super finely milled. Like as it's kind of scattering off of my face, it is like the tiniest little bits of dusty powder. Oh my goodness. That is kind of flying everywhere. I am going to take a velour puff to press some powder around the rest of my face. And then I'm just gonna let this bake sit and do its thing and warm up with my face for around 10 minutes. And I'm gonna come back and kick it all off. Okay, so I'm gonna kick the powder off. I have a little bit of excess powder on the brush so that it glides right off. I'm just gonna dust the excess away. It's really nice. I mean, it's. I didn't think that this would be a crappy powder by any means or concealer because I love the originals so much. I just wanted to see if there would be a difference. This one does feel more mattifying than the older version. The older version almost had this little bit of kind of peach shimmer in it that was almost completely undetectable. But if you were like staring at it really close up on your fingertips, you would see it. This feels like it's more of like a creamy matte. So far, so good. I do enjoy it. I'm gonna put bronzer, blush, and highlight on, scoot the camera back a little bit, and I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, let's all just hope that this lasts all day long because I have a photo shoot to go to and I just, I need my makeup to look good. This was like risky. I put my makeup destiny in the hands of La Mer, uh, trying it out for the first time, knowing that I had a super important place to be and that I was gonna be photographed and my makeup would be judged. So I'm just hoping that this stays like looking fresh like this, but I'm gonna take you with me a little bit behind the scenes throughout my day, do some zoom in close up, see if the product creases, how much wear time we can get out of this. I will see you guys in just a little bit. We are heading out to the photo shoot. Makeup is still doing great. It's been about two and a half hours. I'm just hoping that it holds up throughout this shoot. My mom is headed to the airport, so things have been just kind of a little bit chaotic this morning, but I wanted to do a quick little check-in. Random, but I'm loving mom's shoes from Kohl's. Those are actually super cute. Why are you leaving me? I don't want to leave you. <laughs> Why are you leaving me? I'm pissed. Well, I need to go back and feed my dogs. But I like your shoes. Okay, I get it. All right, mom's off. I kind of match your car today, your rental. Yes, you do. Yeah. All right, wait, I'll bye. Be back. I'll be back before you know it. Okay, bye mom. I'm feeling a little bit car sick right now. We are headed to the shoot and I'm just having like one of those days where I just feel ugh. And it's like, it always happens on a day when you have a lot to do and you really have to like show up. So I'm hoping that at least my makeup is looking good. Bless you, James. You always sneeze in my videos. Like the second I pull out the camera to do a check-in, there's James. Sneezing in the background. Well, you blessed me today and you yes. stole my, I'm, my sneeze. I'm sorry, I pre-blessed you. Okay, so makeup is looking good and we're headed to the shoot. I will be sure to grab some behind the scenes stuff there and yeah, so far so good. Thank you. I didn't really touch up much at all. So just a little lip gloss and I'm about ready to shoot. All right guys, so this is my whole get up for the shoot and I'm about to go take a few photos. People are complimenting my skin, which is making me even more excited about the concealer and the powder. 
and everything. So, so far so good. I passed the makeup artists here with like approval. They didn't really have to do anything. So I'm like, okay, all right, we're looking that good. This might be worth the splurge. You guys, it is now getting dark out. It is the twilight hour. I am done with my photo shoot. We have ramen, super excited about that. This concealer and powder is doing a really nice job. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm at the point where I could use a touch up as far as the shine situation, but I'm impressed. There isn't any creasing. It's doing its, it's doing its work. <laughs> it's doing its job, man. It's doing its job. Uh, so that's where we're at. We're gonna eat some dinner and I will do another check-in just a little bit. The sunset is really pretty. Look at the palm trees. Puka, you just got a bath. Puka got a bath. Puka got a bath. Give me five. Oh, that's a good boy. Where's mommy? Go get Tati. Where's Tati? Come here. Oh. What are you grabbing at? So I'm wearing my favorite um, check-in shirt of all time. How many times have I worn this, like doing a check-in, for real? A lot. A lot, okay, how's my concealer? You no, know, I think it's reaching its outer limits. Oh no, really? Well, it's dark outside, it's getting late. I'm actually about to sign off and wash the makeup off, but it did last a long time today. So aside from the fact that I have clearly rubbed my eyeliner into my concealer, I am still gonna go ahead and say that this is an awesome product. I wish I had not rubbed my eyes and that it was staying completely perfect, but this has held up through a photo shoot, through the rest of the afternoon. It is now time for me to remove my makeup. And I'm gonna say that this concealer is a lot different than the original. It is much lighter. Oh my gosh, how cute is Puka? The powder is much more matte than the original, so they are two completely different formulas. I'm gonna say I like the powder better than I do the new formulated concealer. That's just my opinion. I'll probably keep using my Maybelline Age Rewind and that's just what I'm drawn to at the moment, so. I'm not giving it like a 10 out of 10, like you all need to run and buy it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm Does just it saying it's good. Get a it's 9 good. out of 10? An it's 8 like an out of 10? Eight. An 8. 8 and a half. You looked beautiful today. Thank you. The powder was incredible. You guys see me in other videos and I'm not really shiny at all. And I have not touched up. So the powder gets like a solid A+. La Mer powder is so finely milled and beautiful. It really, really impressed me even better than the original one. So I'm gonna keep using it. I'll let you guys know how the journey continues. And that's about it. There's not much more I can say about concealer and powder. So WTF, really totally expensive, but it's some good stuff. All right, I'm signing off. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.